Welcome back, guys, to our playthrough of Pokemon Crystal. We are just outside Olivine. Now we need to head towards Cyan Wood. It's kind of an island, I think, isn't it? We need to get the medicine for the Ampharos at the top of the light, uh, lighthouse. So we're going to swim on over there, take care of the gym leader in Cyan Wood, get the HM for fly, get the medicine from the pharmacy, and then head on back. Um, all right, so I've got... I did that right, right? Put, uh, okay, cool. So we're going to surf across. I'm going to have Jolteon do some battling across this water here. Knock out everybody. You have to warm up before going into the water. That's basic. All right, you know what's basic? Got to get these battles done, get some experience. Now that we have Blossom, I keep on wanting to call it Sunflora. I don't know why. But now that we have Blossom, I don't really see the need to level it up because it's going to go away soon. Should be a variety. Well, maybe it'll survive. 25? Yeah, it might. Ah, you lived. Yeah, that's right. Perfect. We'll quick attack it for the final, final shot. And you're over. Atta baby. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I'm sure Haunter probably could have done well enough out here too. Considering whether I want to, well, I want these these battles to be quick because we have a lot of stuff that we need to do. So we need to head on over to Cyanwood. It's just, there's just too much. I don't want to, I could get the experience and I can give it to Haunter, but if I do that, Haunter will take forever for the fights because he doesn't have elemental advantage. It'll just take too long. We need Jolteon to boost it up. Get through it fast. Cyanwood is not that far. Although I am thinking a Repel might be a good way to go. They might have some at the Mart. Let's pop a Repel. I just want to give myself a little bit of a breather here. Don't we have one? Yes. Good. Keep them back. No inner tube for me. I'm hanging on to a sea Pokemon. If I knock it out, does that mean she'll drown? Swimmer Paula. That should be a one hit KO, right? Yeah. Level up? Ooh, close, but no. She had two, right? Yeah, okay. Shelter. There's just something very odd about how big that tongue is, but I was talking to someone in the Discord server for the Mark and I Discord server, and we, they have a channel and they're dedicated to Pokemon, and we talk about all things related to, to Pokemon, and one of the things was that we talked about and thought was kind of cool is that if Shelter and Cloyster both had shinies, where the black portion of the Shelter, the actual, like, Mon, um, if it was white in the, in, the, in, the, in the shiny version, like a pearl, which would have been, like, that would have been really cool, wouldn't it? That would have been nice. Hey, you're young and fit. Don't ride your Pokemon. Swim. That is a good point, huh? That our trainer can't swim. I find that to be odd. We have literal trainers who can, like, hang out in the water, but we can't. I never thought about that until now. Very interesting. Obviously, it's a game mechanic that we can't just abandon, but, like, shouldn't our, our trainer know how to swim? Like, that just doesn't make sense. But yeah, imagine that thing had like a white, a white pearl. That would be really cool as the shiny. Even though like the creature inside it isn't exactly like, it's not a pearl, like that is the creature. The shell is just the shell, right? So it's a clam. But since it's black, and I wonder, is it black because it's just the shadow covering it? Maybe it actually is white. Maybe it's just the shell is creating a, you know, a shadow cover that's making it look black. I don't know, but I thought that would be kind of cool regardless. I think there's there's potential coolness from that. Ooh, War Turtle. That yeah, looks really cool. There's another YouTuber out there that I really like. Um, I don't watch his content, but I follow him on Twitter, and he he posts a lot of good stuff, um, talking about like talking about like leaks and and beta Pokemon designs and all that stuff. Doctor Lava, really great stuff. Very very informative. I don't. I don't watch the videos, but I do read his tweets. And he shared an image that I thought was really cool that apparently, like, Squirtle 
Squirtle had a different evolutionary family. Was it Squirtle? Like the final form... Oh, it was really weird. What was it? Let me see. Hold on. I think it was... Uh, let me take a look at this. Beta Squirtle evolution. Because I, I remember barely. Okay, there it was. Yeah, so Squirtle evolved into War Turtle, and then War Turtle evolved into... It looked like... It looked like... Blastoise, kind of. But instead, it had like a really long, wavy tail, and then it had like fins for ears and sort of like a snapping turtle face. And that apparently... Blastoise was a completely separate Pokemon, completely, and it had a, a base evolutionary stage that looked like a, like just kind of a chibi version of it. So it went Squirtle, Squirtle Wartortle, and then into uh, whatever that final stage was. It didn't have guns mounted on the shell either. There was a baby Blastoise looking thing and it had, I don't know, whatever, you'd have to look it up. But if you just Google Beta Squirtle Evolution, it was really cool. Really cool design. Let's see. I know Cyanwood's not this way, but we're gonna fight him anyway. I'm a bit tired. If I win, lend me your Pokemon. We're gonna go to the west or to the left here in a minute, but... Yeah, I don't know if this... If the original form that War Turtle was gonna evolve into was called Blastoise or what. Here's Dr. Lava's thing. First revealed in Gen 1, beta assets leaked in February 2019. This turtle was Blastoise's original pre-evolution. That's the baby one. Created before Blastoise was merged with the Squirtle family. Yeah. Okay, so that's what he talked about. And then he has, like, another one. He says... Uh, let's go ahead and understand that. Um, yeah, and then the original evolution of War Turtle. Yeah, they don't... So they don't show it from the front, but basically it just looks like a War Turtle on steroids is what the final stage looks like. And then Blastoise was its own separate thing, but it looked way too similar. And then it had just, like, a baby version. It's kind of like how... Like, Cleffa in Two Clef Fairy. Imagine that sort of same design philosophy for Blastoise, if it had a baby version of itself, where it just looked like a very small one with like tiny little guns and yeah, that's what it would have looked like, which would have been cool. There's a lot of really great beta designs out there that they just like didn't, they didn't stick around with obviously. And apparently Raichu had an evolution. There was like Pikachu, Raichu, and then it evolved into like a giant nasty red demon rat. It was like, it's really gross. Like it's definitely not. Definitely not a cool one. I don't particularly like that. It has a name, though, I think. Yeah, it was called Gorochu. So, yeah, Pikachu, Raichu, and then, yeah, I don't like that. First revealed by Game Freak developers in a 2018 Japanese newspaper interview, Gorochu was planned for Gen 1 as Raichu's evolution, but was cut due to lack of cartridge space. And it would have been a fire type, I guess? So apparently, yeah, there would have been a four-stage thing. Which I don't think there are any four stages at all, huh? It only goes to three, and then if you have a Mega. But it's basically, yeah, Pichu to Happiness is Pikachu. And then Thunderstone for Raichu, and then a, maybe a Firestone. It looks like a fire type. It's not clear to me if it was a dual fire electric, but it's what it looks like. I don't know. Google Beta Raichu Evolution, and that's what it looks like. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. I find all that stuff interesting. We're just racking up the the evolves here, baby. What? The uh, experience. I don't know why I said that. I was reading something about evolution and it just, I don't know. Do you ever do that? You're like reading or thinking of something and you speak and then you just like say the most random word that's unrelated to what you're talking about. I feel like that's me most of my life. I want to get through this. We're going to go immediately to the left, and hopefully there won't be too many other trainers. I imagine there'll be, like, one or two, but I want to get to the gym leader and stomp him. I think Gashly is going to, or uh, Haunter, rather, is going to absolutely demolish. Yeah, you're good. I'm not giving you your, my Pokemon. Get out of here, punk. The water's warm here. I'm loose and limber. Sure, I'll take you on. Yeah, he definitely peed in the ocean. It'll be a little while before Haunter can evolve into Gengar, but I am uh, excited about having Gengar on the team. That's going to be so freaking cool. Also, you notice how he licked at, like, licked at us? Like, he's all like... It's like, oh, go, Shelter! He pops out of the Pokeball and he's like, Ugh. Easy, Shelter. Easy. Ain't getting nothing until at least date number three. You know what I mean?
Nice, level 28. We getting there. Tentacruel. Cruel. Man, he needs to learn a new electric move. I want something a little more potent. Let's take a look and see. I don't think he learns anything for a long time, though. After Thundershock. What has he got? It's kind of frustrating. He learns, yeah, nothing until level 42 at Thunder Wave and Thunder at 52. That's just so extra, dude. Come on. And then Zap Cannon Thunder. I hate all that. Totally lame. Alright, can I move on? Cyanwood? It's gotta be close. Yeah, we're just outside the... Oh, I was gonna fight her, though. I need to get that. I'm on my way to World Islands. I'm going to explore him. Okay, whatever. I think that his level up uh, elemental attacks also equate to what Vaporeon and Flareon also have. It takes a little while for them to learn something else. They just have their, like, base baby attack at 16, and then in the 40s they get another, another move, and then another electric move at, in the 50s, which is stupid. Might take a little bit longer for Jolteon, or for Flareon, to even get Flamethrower. Does he learn Flamethrower? Yeah, 52, I guess. Okay. He gets Fire Spin at 36, though. Eh, we're on the way there. We'll be, we'll be, we'll be there before we know it. Thunder Wave, though. Come on. I wonder if we can get this. Can you get Thunder Wave sooner? See whether or not we can get Thunder Wave in the stores. That's too. That's just too much information on Thunder Wave as a move. That's crazy. Never mind. That animation just took like so long, didn't it? That was a really long one. Cyanwood. This is like just all ocean. That's weird. Is this considered Cyanwood? It is. Okay, brilliant. Oh! Oh! What the heck? How is that? How is that? Oh! What? What? Freaking sweet coon is chilling up here. Oh no! Dude, dude. What am I gonna do? <laughs> do we catch it? Are we able to catch that? Okay, hold on. Let me take a look and read this real fast. Okay, um, Bob Pius says, Cyanwood City is a small, isolated settlement in the coast of a large island. Despite its distance from the mainland, the area still attracts trainers aiming to challenge a Cyanwood gym or patronize the centuries-old pharmacy known for its unique medicine, the rock. The rocks that wash up on the northern can be cleared. Okay. Hold on. Interesting. Just north of the Pokeseer's house is a tiny ledge at the foot of the cliffs with a, none other than Suicune standing here. When you approach, it races around you before running out over the waves. And we have a challenge of a fight. What does he have for his Pokemon here? That's going to be a challenge, isn't it? Okay. All right. He's just hanging, little cutie. Something He loves me. I don't know what it is. Yo, Marcy, wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught quick glimpse, but I thought I saw Suicune running on wave. Suicune is beautiful and grand, and races towns and roads at simply awesome speeds. It's wonderful. I want to see Suicune up close. I decide. I'll battle you as trainer to earn Suicune respect. Come on, let's battle. All right, look, bitch. <laughs> Don't want to deal with this right now, okay? I got things to do. I'm trying to save a Pokemon. Oh, he's such a dork. 
Mystical Man. Are you seen? Are we seen? What a dingus. Hate him. It never affects. Oh, and then you can hit me with it, you son of a... Ridiculous. All right, do I have an awakening? I thought I had one, but I may have already used it. Oh, I can't use it. He's got to hold it. That's so stupid, dude. Oh, he's going to use Dream Eater right away, so I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. Yeah, not a chance, dude. Yeah, have some darkness, dude. Enjoy that one-hit KO. Ah, clown. All right, whatever. Just poison you with a little smog. Are you serious? What is the deal? Missing and didn't affect. Missing and didn't affect. Dude, what is happening? Whatever, fine. I don't know why I'm being so stingy on my power points. it out for this mystical man that's like the longest thing ever not worried about your petty rollout yeah it's not as bad as mill tanks that one did a lot of damage though Dude, are you serious? BS, man. Try that with me. That actually works? I thought that was a normal move. Dude, this is BS. Seriously. What is rollout as a move? It's a normal physical move. How did that hurt me? I don't understand it. It makes no sense. What the hell is that? Oh, it's his nose. That's his nose? Just his nose sticking up? That's some goofiest sprite I've ever seen in my life. I thought it was like a penis or something, which obviously doesn't make any sense, but like still. It's just like... Ridiculous. Why is it just his nose, dude? Okay, why is this also missing so much? This is getting really annoying. His electrode is dirty. Like, it's just doing so much damage and I can't hit him. Yeah, get out of here, a-hole. God. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'll change. Did a number on me. Still gotta take on the gym leader. Whatever. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Paralyze me. Thank God. Electrode was a pain. I hate admit, but you win. Okay, now get out of my face. You amazing. No wonder Pokemon gravitate to you. I get now. I go and keep searching for Suicune. Sure see each other again. See you round. Did Suicune like drop any special items down here? Like Suicune poop or something? I don't know. Alright, let's clear all this out and then take on the gym later. I see all I know. Well, certainly I know of your Pokemon. I see you met Sparky here. Time was night. Its level was five. Am I good or what? Incidentally, it seems to have grown a little. Sparky seems to be becoming more confident. Yeah, because I got it from the egg, remember? I got that Eevee and then I hatched an egg because I wanted to... I couldn't get Thundershock because the egg that we get is at... Or the Eevee that we get from Bill is at level 20 and he learns Thunder, Thundershock at 16. Photo Studio. No, I don't have any interest in this. Actually, let's talk to everybody. Oh, Repels War. Okay. 
Boulders to the north of town can be crushed. They may be hiding something. A Pokemon could use Rock Smash to break them. If you use Sly, you can get back to Olivine instantly. Yeah, I don't have a flying type on me, though. You came from Olivine? Do you remember the four islands along the way? I heard that a mythical sea creature is hiding in them. Thank you. I've heard that the whirlpools around the islands are caused by the sea creature. You might need a special move to get past them. You don't say. I heard that you can only see it if you have a silver wing. It must have the same scent as the creature. True, true, true. Chuck, the gym leader, spars with this fighting Pokemon. Hi, I'm in Chuck. A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in. He scared me into giving him... Him, my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Your Pokemon party's full. I don't care about this. It's a shuckle, right? I think it doesn't really matter. At least I think it is, right? Because otherwise, I was thinking. If it was something that was better than that, I would consider it, but there's no reason. What do you do? The Pokemon gym trainers here are macho bullies. If I stick around, they might come after me. Here's some advice. The gym leader uses the fighting type. So, wait, oh, is this the guy from the gra from the, this is the nor the guy who stands out in front. Ah, oh, I did the wrong voice for him. Tishiko found him with psychic Pokemon. Wipe out his Pokemon before they can use their physical strength. And those boulders in the middle of the gym? If you don't move them correctly, you won't reach the gym leader. If you get stuck, go outside. I didn't realize it was the guy. The champion making guy. Did you meet the Pokemaniac? He's always bragging about his rare Pokemon. I love showing off the Pokemon that I've raised, don't you? I'm going to get into a bunch of battles and show off my Pokemon. Alright, well, yeah. Haunter should be able to do the damage here that I want. Let's grab the... Pharmacy stuff, which should be here. Your Pokemon appear to be fine. Is something worrying you? The Lighthouse Pokemon is in trouble. I got it. This ought to do the trick. My secret potion is a tad too strong. I only offer it in an emergency. That's the wife. We'll talk to her after. Just in case I lose. My Pokemon and I are bound together by friendship. Our bond will never be broken. That's cool. I'm still gonna beat your ass. <laughs> no chance. Pitmon Lee. That was cool. Oh, they're strong. Uh oh. <laughs> they're actually very strong. Alright, let's shadow ball these guys that might be able to do some major damage here. Get that. Why does the animation look that way? He still lived. Hate that. Hate it. I mean, you're not going to hurt me anyway. You're gonna, you can do that as much as you want, but... You might know a move or two that could do some damage, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Ooh, big gains. Does he have a second one? Nope. This isn't real. Cool. We martial artists feel nothing. They have Japanese names, so, but I feel like doing Russian is okay. Like, I feel like I can insult the Russians by doing a terrible accent, but I feel like I do Japanese. I feel a little guilty about it. <laughs> I like that, the punches, that's nice. I didn't do very much. Oh, that's right. That can still hurt me. Oh, I didn't do much. Not worried about that.
Uh... Ah, come on. <sighs> this D-bag. Damn it. Ice punch. That'll do nothing. Okay, yeah. Let me show you what it's like to get hit with the thunder. Right in your genitals. Enjoy. Lao. That's shulking. Yeah. Hey! Very cool. Alright, now normally I wouldn't do this. I want to give myself the challenge, but he's frozen. And I'm not going to deal with how long it'll take to thaw him out. I don't know how long it takes. Sometimes the thawing can take a little while, and I don't want to deal with that. I know using fire type moves against a frozen Pokemon will thaw them, but I'm not. I'm not interested. So I'm going to heal up, because I really want Haunter to do all the damage, but he can if he's frozen. So, I'm just going to have to roll with it, son. Words are useless. Let your fist do the talking. Knob. Black Belt Knob. I don't know what kind of name that is, but... And these guys are all really high level. Uh, c considering. That should do a lot, because he's a base form. I expected that to be a 1 at KO, actually. Big jumps. Knob. Alright, this one's going to be a little bit harder. I'm going to see if I can put him to sleep. So, do you think when a Machop evolves because it's naked into a Machoke, do they give it the underwear to cover its, like, its genitals and b-hole? Or do you think that, like, that's part of his skin? Because I always assume that Hitmonlee, like, doesn't have any clothes, but Hitmonchan does. So, does Hitmonchan, like, get the tutu? Like, after, you know, it, it evolves from Tyrogue, or is that part of its skin? Either way, it's kind of gross to think about. Nice. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Knob. Yeah, I wouldn't say much with a name like that. My raging fist will shatter your Pokemon. Alright, hopefully Shadow Ball will do enough damage that it'll be a one hit KO. Yes, brilliant. This one I'm going to have to put him to sleep, I think, because he'll do a little bit more damage. Nice. I have level advantage, but he's evolved, which means he's tough. So this might take three Shadow Ball hits, if not two. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Suck on that. Not a chance, baby. Brilliant. Lung was defeated. I got the shattered. <laughs> so you've come this far. Let me tell you, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. Yeah. 
<laughs> they are scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Alright, rinse and repeat. Stronger though? 27. Two levels higher than the last one we fought. Danny Phantom. Put him to sleep. Uh, yes. I was worried that it wasn't going to work. Alright, fight. Shadow Ball him. I'm guessing it'll do half damage. A little more. Okay. Nice. Maybe we can even get him to level 30 after this fight. Because I think, what's his other Pokemon? Uh, Poliwrath? Awesome. Uh, he won't make enough to get to level 30. Because only has two Pokemon. Yeah. I don't think the game is going to let me do Hypnosis again. I would be very surprised if it pulled it off. I'm very surprised. <laughs> Alright, now... I don't know... Is Shadow Ball going to do an... Oh, you... D-bag. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, Mind Reader. I've never seen that move before, or at least I don't remember ever seeing that. Oh, suck on D's, son! Ha! Chuck was defeated. Well, huh? I lost. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. All right, let's take a look. In the, in the last game, I had it mixed up around, but let's see. All right. And $3,000. Storm Badge makes all Pokemon to level 70 obey, and even traded ones. It also lets your Pokemon use Fly when you're not in battle. Here, take this too. Was this Dynamic Punch? Because I'm going to teach this to Polyrath. That's Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Brilliant. Okay. Let's go ahead and use that right now. It's hard on the, on the throat doing that. He had rocks, rock smash. That's fine. I won't use it. Need it for very long. All right, let's move that as well. Okay. Oh wait, wrong one. How did I do that? That was weird. Okay. Move that. Dynamic punch is the big one. We'll move you here. There we go. Wait, was? Hold on. Rock Smash is fighting as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, we don't need really water whirlpool and waterfall until much later anyway, so I'm not worried about that. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would be much easier if your Pokemon knew how to fly. That's Cyanwood's gym badge. Then you should take this HM. Brilliant. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly to anywhere you have visited. My husband lost you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. All right, cool. We're gonna go heal up now. Got everything, and we can head back to Olivine. Yeah, see what I did in the last game is I came to Cyanwood to get the, the pharmacy stuff, and then I went back to Olivine immediately. I forgot to actually do the fight here because I didn't realize that I could. I thought I had to go there and then come here. I thought I was just stopping by to get the pharmacy stuff, but I didn't realize coming here for that secret potion or whatever is actually like sort of like the the catalyst for coming here and then doing everything this town has to offer so all right we'll go ahead and save it right here thank you guys for watching this episode of pokemon crystal we'll continue with more tomorrow if you enjoyed the episode you can share your love by hitting the like button do not forget to subscribe any feedback for me leave it in the comments section i'll get back to you as soon as possible also don't forget to take a look at the description box there's some links that might be of interest to you one of which is a link to the mark and community discord server if you want to be part of that group you can chat with me directly otherwise just know that i appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of a playthrough of pokemon crystal all right guys that's it for me take care be well see you next time